Welcome back from my channel. If you don't know, my name is Jessica Likewise. I'm the CEO of Hope Education Services. I'm studying for my BCBA exam. I'm not a BCBA, but I've partnered with Dr. Keith Story. He has actually put out some CEUs that I'm helping facilitate the sale of. And I also asked him to come on and help me make some videos to help us study together for a BCBA exam. So today he's gonna to tell us the definition of the pre-MAC principle. <music> Well, hey guys, and welcome back. Like I said, we're gonna talk about the pre-MAC principle today. We have a special guest, Dr. Keith Story. He has over 30 years of experience in the field of ABA, a PhD, BCBAD, and he is super qualified to help us out. So Dr. Keith, tell us everything we need to know about the pre-MAC principle to pass our BCBA exam. The pre-MAC principle is actually pretty easy to understand. So it's grandma's rule. You have to eat your vegetable before you get your dessert. So what you're doing is you're setting up a situation in which the learner has to engage in a behavior or respond to an SD that you've presented to them before they get the reinforcer. So if you need to set up, you know, once you do this, Keith, then you'll get your reinforcer. So you're just setting it up so that the, the learner has to do the response and then they get the reinforcer. They don't do the response or the behavior, they don't get the reinforcer. You don't eat your vegetables, you don't get dessert. So it's very simple um, and you're just letting the learner know what the contingencies are. That's the pre-MAC principle in 60 seconds or less. Yeah, and that's really a clear definition. You know, it's funny because I think a lot of times in clinical practice, those people like myself who've been in the field for a long time and now we're taking our exam, a lot of us are just doing it because our, they are changing the requirements, right? This is our last chance. So that's my position that I'm in. I use the if-then principle all the time and I'll have to admit, I never knew um, it was called the pre-MAC principle. So it was on my list of terms to study. And I'm like, oh yeah, I do that. I do that every day doing ABA, but I didn't know what it was called. So pre-MAC principle, if-then. So vegetables then dessert yes that is a that is perfect for me to know i'm actually a little weird i actually prefer vegetables over dessert so it might have to be the opposite for me but it's I the same principle the exactly. for you it's exactly. your dessert first and then you get your vegetables exactly so just proof that you have to always make sure a reinforcer is actually reinforcing for the learner exactly um, we all have our individual reinforcer so yeah. You know, if dessert's not a reinforcer, you wouldn't set that up in the situation. Exactly. Well, right now I have a strong MO for studying ABA because I'm taking my BCBA exam. And Dr. Keith is a huge resource for ABA. He has a few books out that I'm going to give him a chance to tell you about now. So Dr. Keith, tell us about your books and where we can get them. Well, I just have one here with me today, which is Systematic Instruction of Functional Skills for Students and Adults with Disabilities. I have a book on functional assessment, one on positive behavior supports in classrooms and schools, one on case studies in positive behavior supports, a couple books on transition, book on positive behavior supports for adults with disabilities. You can go to my Amazon author page and uh, all the books are listed there. They're really exciting reading and uh, if you're having insomnia, they'll do the trick. <laughs> there you go. Well, I am going to be taking one of them down by the pool and reading this evening. Um, as my reward for, for finishing making these videos. But thank you so much, Dr. Keith. And like I said, Dr. Keith has made a CEU on inclusion. I'm helping him to facilitate the sale of that on my website, hopeeducationservices.com. Now, just to clarify, I am not a BCBA and I am not accredited by the BACB to be giving out continuing education units, but Dr. Keith is, and I'm just helping him to uh, sell the, the class that he made, the CEU that he made. So head over to the website, hopeeducationservices.com. All of Dr. Keith's books are going to be in the show notes below. So just if you wanna check them out, just go into the comments and you'll access the books. Well, thank you, Dr. Keith, for defining the pre-MAC principle. It is a lot easier than I thought it would be. And thank you everyone for tuning in and we look forward to seeing you on the next video.